I met a guy who had just come back from the United Kingdom and he brought with him 14 different kinds of English beers. And we went to a tasting one night in Dunbar in a basement on the west side of Vancouver and we tried out these different beers. And two things happened. First of all, here was a whole range of flavors that, that we as consumers knew nothing about because we had no access to them. And secondly, the best beers were the homebrews. From that point on, it was pig-headed determination, let's do it. My name is Lon Liddell, I'm the head brewer at Spinnaker's Brew Pub. I've been here on and off for about seven or eight years now. Um, I keep coming back because it's such a great place to work. Um, uh, my job allows me such, uh, such freedom and creativity that uh, it's, it's pretty hard to find a better place. The process of making beer is really quite fun. It's a lot like cooking and it's a lot like chemistry and at the final product you get a great, great beer to drink at the end of the day. So what we do is at the start of the day, we get, uh, we get our different malts, we put it in a big grinder and at that point we want to get at that starch that's on the inside so we put it through the grinder. After that, uh, it falls down into the mash tun, and in the mash tun we mix it with hot water, and at that point, all the starches in there is being converted into, into maltose, into sugar. And it's that sugar water, which we call wort, that we use to ferment and create alcohol and CO2. So once we've, once we've created this wort, we'll move that wort into the kettle, and then we'll add the hops. Now there's different types of hops. Different hops give you different sort of flavors uh, and different oils, different aromas. So for every style of beer, you, you pick and choose your hops. The better your ingredient, the, the better your final product. After you've boiled your product, your, uh, your beer for an hour and a half, you want to cool it down and put it into one of the fermenters. At that point, that's when you add the yeast, that's when the magic happens. The yeast eats the sugar that we created in the mash tun and creates alcohol and CO2. So after four, between four and six days, the beer is finished eating that sugar, and then, then we can let it go into the maturation stage. After about two, three weeks in a cold tank, we've got beer. There's tons of different varieties of beers in the world, and luckily here at Spinnaker's, we're, we're able to, to touch on a lot of them. We try to make beer for every, every style of drinker. We do have our staples on at any one time, but we also have lots of room to play and, and be creative and hit some of those lesser known varieties of beer. You know, we have our India Pale Ale, which is a crowd favorite, our extra special bitter, which has been here on tap since 1984. And we also do a large gambit of specialty beers, ranging from uh, raspberry ales in September when the raspberries are fresh to Hefeweizens in the summer, just everything. Here at Spinnaker's, we have a fairly small brew house. We make 800 liter batches, which means we have to make beer quite a bit to keep up with the demand. What that means for the clientele is that the beer is fresh, and ready to go. Our beer is available throughout British Columbia at all liquor stores and it's available here in Victoria at all cold beer and wine stores and throughout some restaurants.